I've always liked to think here at Ashton's Cars that we will go the extra mile for our customers. Um, and here is a video of uh, myself delivering a Saab to one such customer in Keith, which is right up in the Highlands of Scotland uh, and a distance of around about 550 miles. So here we go. Automatic. Delivering to a, uh, a customer of ours uh, in the Highlands of Scotland. So, a bit of a long journey. Um, I've already done just over two hours to get here from South Wales. And uh, we're now going to be heading up to the town of Lockerbie, where I'm staying the night. But, as much as this car is 16 years old, it's just a great old motorway mile muncher automatic with cruise control obviously we've got the full lever interior here i have got the roof up on it at the moment because on the motorway it can get a bit blowy but um it's got air conditioning so it blows ice cold so even though it's about 24 25 degrees outside i'm nice and cool in here obviously i can't uh, video myself driving the car for obvious reasons but um i will catch up with you once i'm over the border and in, in scotland and uh, we've got a bit of an adventure ahead because we're going to Lockerbie tonight. We're going to have a bite to eat uh, at a pub. Staying at a rather quaint old hotel, which I'm looking forward to seeing. And uh, then we're um, delivering this car right the way up to past Aberdeen, up towards the Highlands of Scotland, as I said, um, before we head to Aberdeen Airport for a plane home. So we should arrive back in, uh, in Bristol tomorrow evening and then have a ride back to South Wales um soon soon after that so um it's a two-day jaunt but um it is something that we do fairly regularly for customers if, if someone's looking for something specific we will aim to get it delivered to you wherever you are in the uk and that's exactly what i'm doing here so wish me luck i'm gonna hit the motorway so we've crossed the border we are now in scotland and um not far from Lockerbie. Um, I've pulled over because I'm going to grab some food in this uh, in this pub, which we can see here. And then I'm going to be heading to my hotel, which is in Lockerbie, um, just a couple of miles north of here. Um, the main thing, though, is this car is absolutely fantastic. This Saab um, Aero. It's 16 years old, this car is. And 17 years old, actually. And... I filled the tank up, it cost about 88 quid to fill it up. And it's used, as you can see there, just over half of that tank to do, um, it's 330, 340 miles to where I am from, from where, we, where we're based in South Wales, we are now in Scotland. And we've still got a quarter of the computer, 179 miles left in the tank. And that's been going up all the way. And we're also, really good is average fuel consumption on the trip so far is 32.4 miles per gallon it is mostly motorway driving but you know we haven't been sort of holding back at all we've been at full motorway speeds and we've encountered a little bit of traffic on that journey so um i'm really impressed with the car it's performed fantastically it's not missed a beat um and obviously it's uh, it's an aero it's got cruise control it's the two liter turbo petrol model there's plenty of go in it and this auto gearbox is an absolute dream to use as well so just to show you one of the very small quirks on this car before i go uh, for the night it's got a night panel so as if we press this button here it switches off all but the essential uh, dials and switches on the car. It's, I've always thought a bit of a gimmick, but it does actually uh, mean you've got a lot less glare um, if you're driving on the motorway at night. And uh, uh, it's a little bit of a sad quirk, which I love. So yeah, I'm gonna leave you now. I'm gonna go and grab some food because obviously I've been driving a while and we will resume this tomorrow morning uh, when I'll be leaving my hotel and we'll be heading from Lockerbie up to the Highlands of Scotland. Well, it's morning now and uh, slept well. Had a great stay and I'm uh, now gonna be heading up north from Lockerbie towards the highlands of Scotland in the Saab. So we've got about another uh, 200, 230, 240 miles to go. It's quite a trek. 
Um, but the car's performed effortlessly up to this point, so you know, I know it's going to be absolutely great to drive up there. And who knows, we might even have some sunshine today. I might even get the top down on it um, when we get up uh, closer to our destination. But Stephen was a wonderful place last night. Um, like a proper old fashioned manor house, this is. So, uh, had a good night's sleep. Uh, it's just gone 7 o'clock now, so we're going to hit the road, try and beat the worst of the traffic as we pass Glasgow. And, uh, and then we're heading north, so I'll try and catch you a little further along the route. Hi, and welcome to the Highlands. And just about to do the final leg of uh, the journey. Um, we're following the River Spey up, um, past a lot of distilleries. And we've got about uh, 25 miles to go now until we're at the customer's uh, residence. So um, this will probably be my last uh, last sort of leg of my journey now before I, I'm on public transport and, uh, and a plane to get home. So uh, I can honestly say this car's performed absolutely fantastically. Nearly 500 miles I've done in it now, averaged 34 miles per gallon, um, which considering it's an automatic Tulia turbo, very, very impressive indeed. Um, so I'm going to get the roof down on her now uh, for this final leg because we've actually got some blue sky. You can, yeah, you can probably just about see we've got some blue sky up there, which is nice. Um, so I'm going to at last get the roof down on the Saab and enjoy the last um, 20 or so miles of uh, what are fantastic Highland roads up here. There's fantastic driving country up here. Um, and we seem to have passed all the average speed checks and roadworks now and just be on beautiful twisting um, A and B roads which are fantastic for this car. So I'm going to enjoy that and uh, we'll catch you very shortly. Right, let's get the stop down. in the world in terms of uh, the time that hood takes but it's really graceful the way it does it and a really good well insulated hood it's been great all the way up here so windows down top down a bit of sunshine do enjoy the drive bye for now yeah, here we are at our final destination this car has been an absolute dream to drive up and i've really enjoyed the trip so off to see the customer now and do the handover and then from here, it was a taxi uh, back to the airport. We're going to Aberdeen Airport, flying from Aberdeen uh, back to Bristol. And uh, from Bristol, I was getting picked up by a friend to get me back to South Wales. So all in all, a successful Scottish trip.